So they turned their final moments in court into noise and mayhem, shouting and fighting with security guards in the dock. But in the end, the killers of soldier Lee Rigby were forced to face justice for their actions. 29-year-old Michael Adebolajo was told he would be jailed for the rest of his life, whilst his accomplice Michael Adebolawi was given a life sentence with a minimum of 45 years behind bars. The sentencing signalled at least some closure for Lee Rigby's anguished family and friends. And be warned, this report from our Home Affairs correspondent Dashna Sony does contain some distressing images. They said their lives have been irreparably changed for the worse. As Lee Rigby's family arrived at court, a small but vocal number of protesters had started to gather. The 25-year-old Fusilier's wife said in an impact statement that she just couldn't comprehend what had happened to him, not out in Afghanistan where he had served, but here on the streets of the UK. His killers, Michael Adebolaje and Michael Adebowale, British converts to Islam, had gloried in Lee Rigby's barbaric murder, according to the judge. It was a crime that had appalled the nation. Three protesters were arrested outside the Old Bailey as the men were sentenced. And there were dramatic scenes inside court. As the judge began his sentencing, he said that both defendants had betrayed Islam, the religion they had adopted. But as he said this, Adi Bawale stood up and started shouting, it's a lie, it's a lie. He started ranting about America never being safe. Both defendants then started fighting with the guards and it took nine officers several minutes to restrain them. They had to be physically led away from the dock. Lee Rigby's family watched on in horror. The judge ordered that they be taken down and he continued sentencing in their absence. Adi Balaje, described as the leader of their enterprise, was given a whole life tariff. Adi Bawale, a minimum of 45 years. Rigby family welcomes the whole life and significant sentences that have been passed down on Lee's killers. We feel that no other sentence would have been acceptable and we would like to thank the judge and the courts for handing down what we believe to be the right prison terms. The judge said the defendants had decided to murder Lee Rigby, who was off duty, in order to generate maximum publicity. Michael Adibolaje's defence barrister had argued that despite the savagery of the attack, in broad daylight in Woolwich last May, he is not so depraved that there is no prospect of atonement. We must fight them as they fight us, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. The judge disagreed. Although his family welcomed the sentences, Fusilier Rigby's wife said her young child would now have to grow up and see images that no son should have to endure. Darshna Sonny, Channel 4 News.